As more Coloradans get vaccinated against COVID-19, more and more questions keep coming up about the vaccine. Our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, joins us to answer some of those questions. Good morning, Dr. Coley. A few questions that have been brought up recently. Can the COVID vaccine give you a false positive test for COVID? Yes, I'm getting this question a lot, Corey. And the answer is that it should not give you a false positive on the PCR or the viral test. However, it can and should turn your antibody test positive. So if you go and get an antibody test after getting the vaccine a few weeks later, there's a good possibility that would be positive. Does everyone make antibodies after the COVID vaccine? So a lot of people are asking me, Dr. Coley, should I go and get my antibody test checked after the vaccine to see if I made the antibodies? And the answer is, we don't actually know whether everybody makes antibodies after this particular vaccine. We think that most people do. And after about three to four weeks, if you were to check an antibody test, it should be positive on the majority of them. However, we do know from other vaccines that there are some proportion of people, a minority, that won't make antibodies. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not protected because there are other types types of immune cells that the body can still make in response to the vaccine that still offer some degree of protection, even if you don't make antibodies. But a lot of people have been asking about checking on their antibody response after the vaccine. And I don't recommend doing this and neither does the CDC because we just don't know how to interpret that data yet. This next question is really interesting. How do you know if your antibody test is positive from the vaccine or natural infection? Ah, that's a great point. So how do you know if somebody gets sick after they get the vaccine? So if you get an antibody test to the spike protein, which remember is the, is the messenger RNA or the DNA that's carried in the vaccines, you won't know whether that's from, from the, the vaccine or from natural infection. But there's actually a special antibody test against the capsule of the virus that is not present in the vaccine. So if you have an antibody against the capsule of the virus, which is that special antibody test, then you only could have gotten it through natural infection and not the vaccine. Can you still get COVID after getting the vaccine? You know, indeed, you can get COVID after getting the vaccine, but there's been some really encouraging new data that's come out. A couple of papers in the New England Journal of Medicine that came out just on Tuesday telling us that despite the new variants, the rate of infection after vaccination is extremely low. And we're talking about looking at cohorts or groups of healthcare workers, which have a very high rate of exposure, obviously. And in these healthcare workers that are fully vaccinated from three centers, uh, UT Southwestern, UCLA, and UCSD, we, saw, we found rates of infection as low as 0.05% up to 1.2%. But still, even though the range is a little broad, very, very low rates of infection after getting the vaccine, even despite these variants that are out there. So excellent news from there. Yes, yeah, some really good questions this morning. Helped clear up some of the confusion because I know you've been getting a lot of questions as well. Dr. Coley, always appreciate you joining us.